Okay. Hi, everybody. I'd like to thank you for coming. My boss at WildTech has asked me to research some of the business practices and procedures to expand our business into Columbia. And here are some of my findings. Um, first, we're going to talk about a brief history of Columbia, followed by the way Colombians greet one another. Um, the customary exchanging of gifts in business, business meals and what's to be expected during um, Colombians' relationship to time and also their communication styles. A brief history of Colombia. It's the fourth largest country in South America. Um, a portion of it is actually in Central America because it's so large. It was colonized by the Spanish hundreds of years ago, and over time, they have developed their own unique culture. Spanish is still the official language of Colombia, and over 99% of its people are speakers. And within that 99%, there is are many different dialects, and some scholars have compared that to the difference between British and American English. Um, the capital city is Bogota. It currently has over 7 million in its population. Their currency is the Colombian peso, and one US dollar is equal to about over 2,000 Colombian pesos. However, keeping in mind, that one liter of gas in their capital city costs over 3,000 Colombian pesos. Um, Colombians greet one another with a handshake, as do Americans. Also, as in America, it's appropriate to maintain eye contact and the, also counting the firmness of your handshake. Um, they are a little more formal in their address, meaning if you're meeting a doctor or a professor, be sure you address them as such. Otherwise, um, call people Mrs. Mr. and last name, unless you're invited to call them by their first name. Never be the one to initiate that. Um, after your initial greetings, they do expect a period of small talk, much more than we have in the States. They want to ask you about your travels, your family, your health, and on and on until they're good and ready to get into the subject of business. And always let your Colombian counterpart be the one to bring up business. Um, as for their business attire, it's largely the same as ours in America, slightly more formal. They um, put a lot on how they dress and it's slightly more formal. Uh, customary gift exchange. And gift expectancy, I would say it's not expected, but it is accepted. However, if you are going to someone's home or know that you will be meeting their children, make sure you bring gifts. Appropriate gifts include fine wines and spirits, chocolates, nuts, fruit, flowers. However, it's important to remember that if you are giving flowers, Stay away from marigolds and lilies. These are funeral flowers in Colombia and only viewed as mourning flowers, not appropriate for anything else. If you're gifting a child, they love things from your country that are not obtainable in their country. Games, toys, candy that comes from America. Um, the exchange procedures are if you present a wrapped gift. Don't expect your Colombian associate to open it in front of you. They think it's greedy and rude to get right into it. And they probably will barely even thank you again for it. However, if you receive a gift, thank them profusely. <coughs> uh, business meals. Business dinners are a thing in Colombia, but don't expect to conduct much business. They value relationship and time spent with not one another, getting to know each other and trust. So that's what these function as more than conducting business. 
business breakfast and lunches are much more common. You'll get a little negotiating done there, but once again, it's about the relationship. And then at the social dinners in Colombia, if you are invited, most always accept. They, once again, it's such an important practice in their business uh, to build a relationship and trust a person that they're dealing with. Um, and also, if you want to invite them to a social dinner, they'll accept that much more readily than a meeting. Colombia's relationship to time is very different than ours. They're very flexible. If your meeting is supposed to start on the hour, you can expect it to start probably a half an hour or 45 minutes later. This does not mean, however, that you can give yourself on that time because as an international business person, you are expected to be on time. It's considered if you're rude, if you're not on time, you just have to wait. And also as far as deadlines, uh, it's a little bit, things that we think are commonplace in America may not be so commonplace for them. Things are slower there. Takes more time to get everything done. Deadlines are often not met. And also when you travel, beware of expressions of time like in a few hours or tomorrow, because in a few hours most always means tomorrow or in a few days. And tomorrow most always means next week. They're not literal expressions. Um, Colombian and American communication styles are also very different. Um, we are direct communication, I'm sorry, direct communicator. We <coughs> communicate directly, objectively. We want to get things done. Colombians are indirect communicators. That means um, they're counting more what the setting is and what your body language is and gestures more than what you're saying. Um, their context is known as, I'm sorry, their culture is known as a high context culture, and ours is low. So remember that when you're doing business. Um, in summary, you guys, use discretion when you're in Colombia. They love their country, and they're proud of it. There's certain things that you should never bring up. Never bring up drug trafficking. Never bring up politics and never bring up terrorism. Those are completely off the table. Don't engage in conversation about those three. Um, they're proud of their country and they want to show you what it can be, what it is to them. And You're their guest. They want to take you under their wing and give you a better impression of Colombia than what you left with. So remember that. They're about relationships and they want to be your host. And remember to be patient with them. Their um, consideration of time is not the same as U.S. citizens. And if you are patient and go along with them, that could mean it could be the difference between a successful and unsuccessful business venture. Thank you.